Hey everyone, welcome back. So, the holiday season is almost upon us and a lot of you out there are maybe looking for some great gift ideas. Or maybe you're just looking for a great Nintendo title for your Nintendo Switch. And basically, maybe you don't have $60 to drop on those AAA first party titles. So I thought it'd be fun to look at 10 great game ideas that are under $30. So basically, I built this list based on four different criteria. Number one, it says it in the title, the game has to be under $30. Number two, it has to be available regularly at under $30. So I won't include any games that the price is based on a one-time only sale. It has to be games that now the regular price that they're offered at is pretty much under $30. Number three, the game still has to be available today. So even if there's great budget titles that were launched maybe two years ago, if they've been discontinued or they're very hard to find, I didn't include them on the list. And lastly, I tried to include games of every genre. So I didn't focus on as much the top 10 best games, but 10 great gift ideas where you could find a little bit of something for everyone on the list. So if you feel, if you want to, please drop in the comments any other gift ideas that you guys would have of great games that I maybe forgot or didn't include on the list. And who knows, maybe I'll come back to you with another, you know, 10 great games based on what you guys are going to give me as ideas. But in the meantime, let's get to the list of games I chose. So first on our list is going to be a great gift idea for maybe a younger kid on your list or even an adult. It's a great game for all ages. And actually, it's a little bit of a cheat because it's going to be a two for one. And those games are Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2 and Lego DC Super Villains. So I grouped these two games together because their basic premise is the same. You play as Lego versions of either the Marvel Heroes or DC Villains. The gameplay is pretty much 3D platforming alternating between action and puzzle solving. The simple charm of these games are unmistakable and will offer hours of fun and addicting gameplay, having you try to make your way through the game while unlocking more and more characters and secrets. There is also quite a bit of replay value as unlocking everything will force you to replay the levels after unlocking certain characters with specific abilities. For a younger audience, I would go more with the Marvel version, banking on the current popularity of those characters, and that version goes for around $20. While the slightly older audience will enjoy the chance to play as the bad guys in the DC version, and that one goes for more around $30. So next, we'll be looking at a couple of options for someone who loves puzzle games. And first on that list would have to be Katamari Damacy Reroll. Katamari Damacy is a remake of a PlayStation 2 classic. It's a relaxing and laid-back puzzler where you play as the son of the King of the Cosmos and are tasked with rebuilding the stars that were accidentally destroyed by your father. Yeah, it's that kind of crazy. The way you do this is by rolling huge balls called Katamari through different stages, picking up as many objects to keep enlarging your Katamari and as they grow, it gets easier and easier to attract more and more objects. Although the story and gameplay sounds odd, it all becomes quite addictive and entrancing, providing hours of gameplay that really helps you wind down after a stressful day. And it currently sells for only around $20. Next on the list will be another game for someone who loves puzzles, but this one has a little bit more of an action RPG twist to it, and that would be Sushi Striker, Art of Sushido. If you thought the story of the last game was crazy, this one is almost just as zany. You play as a young boy or girl who lives in a world where eating sushi is forbidden, because it was the source of great wars and is created by magical sushi sprites. You use these sushi sprites to create sushi and combine similar colored plates to create combos with the consumed sushi and attack your opponents. Even though it sounds weird, it all comes together actually quite well and with a lot of polish. There are even RPG elements that you train and grow your sprites, allowing you for even more powerful combos. While the last game was laid back and relaxing, this one is frantic and fast, but just as addictive. At its original price of $50, it was overlooked. But now, at only $15 on average, 
it's a steal. Next, we're gonna be looking at a couple of games for any pixel art fans out there. And first of those two games will be Tiny Barbarian DX. Tiny Barbarian DX really is a pixel art love story. The game's premise is as simple as can be. You play as a barbarian on a quest for vengeance and to impress the female barbarian of your dreams. The game combines 2D platforming with combo-based hack and slash combat. The environments are colorful and vibrant and the chiptunes are really a great fit for the gameplay and art style. A quick warning though, don't let this simple presentation fool you. This isn't an easy game and should only be offered for someone who's going to appreciate the challenge. This isn't a good fit for a younger kid just getting into platformers, but rather, rather a challenge for veterans. And this game comes in only at around $20. And second on the list of games for pixel art fans will be the Disney Classics Collection Aladdin and the Lion King. Now, this collection is another great throwback to early 90s gaming when Disney movie adaptations rule the scene and Aladdin and the Lion King are among, if not, the best of the lot. This collection has the Genesis version of Aladdin, the SNES and Genesis version of the Lion King as well as their Game Boy counterparts for both games. However, even though these are based on animated movies, these are not easy games. They are unforgiving action platformers that reward timing and dedication. There are a few options thrown in to make the games easier, like a rewind function in some, as well as demo versions of perfect play playthroughs for others. But nonetheless, this remains more of a collection for nostalgic, experienced gamers than younger kids getting their first shot at platformers. So, surprise your big kid that grew up in the 90s with some childhood memories, and you should expect to pay for around $30 for this collection. Next, we're going to move on to a title directed at a more older audience and fan of maybe strategy games. It'll be Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. The next game mixes the Rabbids franchise from Ubisoft with the unmistakable Mario Brothers. And what would you get from that? I guess the answer is an XCOM style tactical shooter featuring some of the most unique gameplay in the genre. Although on the surface the style might sound rather odd for these franchises, the result is a really great game. The gameplay is polished and addictive, there is plenty of replay value in the challenge stages once you complete the main storyline, and there is even downloadable content available with additional campaigns and content. This title launched as a full price title, but is now available at under $30 and what you get for that price is hard to match. However, don't let the source material confuse you. This isn't a title once again aimed at a younger audience. The tactical gameplay is really aimed at a more mature player who can fully appreciate this game. Next on our list, we're gonna be cheating again with Darksiders 1 and Darksiders 2, which are once again a game directed at an older audience, which are Zelda-typed dungeon crawlers, but with a much darker, grittier, and gorier storyline. The Darksiders franchise are once again ports from the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 era. They are actually one of my favorite ongoing franchises currently in production because of their really compelling storyline. They are Zelda-style dungeon crawlers, although much darker and much more violent. In the first one, you play as War, one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse who is blamed for accidentally triggering the end of days before it was called for. You then embark on a quest to clear your name and exact vengeance on all those involved in this betrayal. In Darksiders 2, this time you get to play as Death, another one of the four horsemen and brother to War. Upon learning of the accusations against his brother, Death knows his brother would never betray the sacred mission and embarks on his own quest to prove his brother's innocence and try to undo the damage done by the impromptu apocalypse. Both games have a lot in common, but each game also feels really different. While in the first game, war fights with brute force in a very straightforward fashion, Death rather centers more around agility and speed outplaying his opponents. Here is hoping the third installment makes it to the Switch, 
because I can't wait to see what Fury has to offer. And both these games are available and sold for around $30 a piece. Now last to finish up the list, we're going to be looking at three evergreen titles, which are basically just games that the gameplay speaks for itself and are just fantastic for anyone of any age. And first on that list has got to be Mega Man 11. For a lot of you, Mega Man needs no introduction. And personally, it's one of my most beloved franchises of all time. I could have easily filled this list with all three available titles on the Switch that are now available most of the time at under $30. But I selected this one because in my opinion it's the best point to jump into the franchise if you've never played a Mega Man game before. Mega Man 11 is a classic 2D side-scroller, with, but with modern art style and visuals. It was a return to its roots for the series focusing on what made Mega Man great. Gameplay that is fun and rewards skill without becoming tedious. Mega Man 11 was well received by newcomers and longtime fans alike. For the younger or more casual gamers, there is also an upgrade system integrated so that as long as you spend enough time collecting bolts, you'll be able to buy the help you need to get those harder stages completed. Purists will be able to go through the stages without ever needing to purchase any of the upgrades to keep the gameplay consistent with traditional Mega Man games. Once you get through this one and you fall in love, the Classic Collection and X Collections are also available as I mentioned earlier. For the moment though, Mega Man 11 goes for around $20. Now, second on the list of evergreen titles has got to be the Crash Insane Trilogy. This is a game you definitely do not want to pass up. For anyone who grew up in the PlayStation 1 era, you know who Crash Bandicoot is. He put 3D platforming on the map for Sony because before Crash they had no answer to the likes of Mario 64. And although the mascot never reached the same notoriety as every kid knew who he was. This remake took me completely by surprise. The quality and detail put into it is stupendous. It has been redone from the ground up with polished and beautiful visuals. It also has a lot of quality of life upgrades while conserving the spirit and the feel of the original. Crash Insane Trilogy offers some of the most varied gameplay of any collection, going from 3D levels to 2.5D levels, chase sequences, racing levels and even auto-scrollers. They have added new playable characters to the games that didn't already have them. Basically, this game has a little of everything and it's all well done and well integrated. But it's not surprising because the source material was so great and the remakes are just even better in my opinion. On top of all this, if you're willing to brave Black Friday, it will drop as low as $15. If not, the rest of the time, it goes for around $30. At either price, just, this just might be the best price to quality game on the list, netting you three awesome games for as low as $15. And last on my list of evergreen titles and rounding off our list of 10 great game ideas will be Sonic Mania Plus, which is a great game for anyone, but especially someone who grew up in the 80s or 90s during Sonic the Hedgehog Mania. And let's take a look at that title now. Sonic the Hedgehog is another one of my favorite classic franchises. And unfortunately, not every one of his latest games has done him justice. Sonic Mania Plus, however, has got to be the best of the recent outings for Sega's Hedgehog. In this game, you can play as Tails, Knuckles, or Sonic himself, and race through all new zones or reimaginings of the classics. This is really a love letter to the franchise, and it shows that it was done by a team of diehard fans rather than a random developer. It's really hard to explain why this collection of games is just better than all the others without experiencing it, but the best way I could describe it is it just feels like Sonic. The 60 FPS speed and pixel perfect physics are just one of a kind and this one is just as good for a youngster getting his first taste of Sonic or a nostalgic 90s kid wanting to relive the best days of the world's fastest blue hedgehog. This game should cost you just under $30. 
So that was a list of 10 great Nintendo Switch games available right now for under $30. So if you're looking to pick them up, either for yourself or for anyone else as a gift, don't forget to use the affiliate links down below in the video. It'll help out the channel and not cost you anything extra. In the meantime, if you like this video, don't forget to like it. If you didn't like it, don't, you can let me know why and I can try to make it better for next time. Don't forget to drop any ideas that you would have on any other games that I maybe forgot to include on the list that are now available. Who knows, like I said, we'll maybe get that second video going. And please subscribe if you haven't already. And as usual, I hope I'll catch you guys in my next video.